Deportiva y con Sui. Deportiva y con Sui. La factoría del deporte de este New York para ti. Es una máquina. Es una máquina. Pensada para ti. Pensada para ti. Número uno en las redes. Dale like a compartir. Con informaciones importantes siempre frescas. Y con entrevistas que te ponen de cabeza. Hey, Francisco, you know, first of all, overall, just how different does the offense feel when you get guys like McNeil and Conforto back together in the lineup? Uh, it feels it feels great. Uh, they're really good hitters and they're going to help us a lot uh, today. They, they definitely helped us today. And um, I'm glad to have them to have them back, um, even though the only guys did an outstanding job. Um, filling in for them, um, having McNeil and, and Conforto is going to be huge for us. You've never faced Kyle Wright before tonight. You know, generally, when, when you're facing a guy that you've never seen before, uh, how informative is that first plate appearance tonight? You worked the walk in the first, and then you're able to homer in the second. Is there anything you take away after that, that first plate appearance that helps you in the second one? Steve, um, I think the meeting, it's a little bit more informative than, um, than anything else because I went to the plate today um, with a great um, mindset of what I wanted to do. Um, Q and Kev and, and then talking to all the guys uh, in the meeting helped out a lot. You know, uh, we had a great team approach and um, I just want to be part of the guys that executed that team approach. Uh, first at bat, definitely saw some, some good pitches that he was throwing. Um, there were balls. And in that gave me even more confidence for the next at bat that the team approach that we had was going to work. Thanks. Next up is Mike Kuma. Francisco, what, what, did, what did you think of the kid uh, McGill making his major league debut tonight? Outstanding, outstanding. He definitely had nerve going, but uh, he didn't show them. Uh, he didn't show them. You know, uh, he executed. He at one point I looked up in the scoreboard and he had 36 pitches, 20 strikes. Um, and I was like, wow, this kid is, is doing it. You know, he stepped up for us. Um, I mean, got us uh, a W tonight, you know? So that's, that's always, that's always huge. What, are, what does Conforto's bat in particular mean to this lineup? I mean, he's Conforto. He's, he's been doing it for a very long time here in New York. And uh, he, he just had another weapon to the lineup. He puts quality of bats together um, throughout the game, and that that always helps. You know, you have a, a guy that's going to compete, that's going to help you see more pitches, see what the um, the pitcher's stuff is like, because he's definitely going to try to put his best stuff against him. And um, you learn from his at bat. So having him, having McNeil um, back in the lineup, it's it's huge for us. Thank you, Dave. On and you're up. Hey, Francisco, d does it start to feel like you, you guys are becoming more whole now with McK McNeil and Conforto on the way back? I mean, just not only their production, but just kind of feeling like you're the team that you, you should be. Um, I'm not sure yet. I feel like there's still a lot of guys that are down. Um, and pitching staff see guys that are down as well. Um, but I'm extremely proud of the group of guys that we have, and I'm super happy that we have them back. Um, they work very hard um, during their rehab assignment. It can be very lonely when you're hurt um, and you see and you look back and you feel like you're not part of the team. So I'm happy to have them. Um, and I, I don't think I don't think we are where we, where we want to be yet. You know, we we're a good team but we're not where we want to be yet. And, and that's going to come. Uh, I truly believe that that's going to come. And I think it's going to, once we have more consistency and have all the pieces um, of the puzzle, it's going to be great to put it together. Thank you. We'll go to Ed next. Hey, Francisco, uh, you kind of hinted at it, but how much did the walk and laying off pitches in that first at bat help you with the home run in the second at bat? It helped out a lot. I mean, I I saw his fast way through me five fastballs um, in that first at bat, and I was like, okay, I, this is a pitch I can drive. Um, he threw me a slider, um, a two zero, and I 
that was I was able to get the barrel to the baseball. Um, I wasn't trying to pull. It just, you know, I just went in that direction. Um, but it definitely gave me a lot more confidence. Thank you. Nisha, you're up. Great. Hey, Francisco. What did you think of Diaz's performance tonight and just in general, the, the fire that he brings uh, to his outings? Diaz has been great um, this whole year. He, every outing he comes in and he, he lights it up, um, but to especially to get five outs, um, it's not easy. And for a guy like him, it's not easy when you get five outs, you up three. I mean, you get two outs, you up three, then all of a sudden you have a long inning. Now you <clears throat> you up four. You know that fire is not the same. He does have that that adrenaline going, and to be able to finish it um, the way he did tonight, it was it was good. Thank you. Francisco, thank you for your time. Yep. Hola, ¿qué tal mi gente? Nosotros somos Chiquito Timbán y esto es con mucho cariño para la gente de La Máquina Deportiva, esa gente que está rompiendo aquí en New York. Ya ustedes saben, desde Chiquito Timbán para la gente de La Máquina Deportiva. Yes.